I would like to give a rolling review on the Sunliner Diner. Their food was good and we really liked our server. She was awesome. But the music was turned up too loud and the adult humans at the next table were allowing their children to be loud, disrespectful monsters. People had to talk loudly to hear each other. I give it a 3 out of 10. The moment the ambience becomes one with a type of animal house, John Belushi, food fight setting, it heavily outweighed the food and service. And yes, I said the word loud, a lot, because that's my lasting memory of our dinner that evening. Loud. Not rock concert kind of loud, but definitely a welcome to Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a maniac kid kind of place. What's the matter? Can't you say the word ambiance correctly? He said, what's the matter? Can't you say the word ambience correctly? Oh my, I can't say it correctly either. Yes, ambiance. Actually, aside from the A or E in the spelling, the word was borrowed directly from the French term that Jack said but was anglicized with an E instead of an A in the English language at the end of the 19th century. Well, there you go. And this place, Reagan's House of Pancakes. Hopefully I said that correctly. They get an 8 out of 10 from me. Their servers were awesome, the breakfast bar was good and always full, and best of all, it was nice and quiet. Our motel gave us free pancake breakfast plate coupons, but I'm more of a sausage, bacon, biscuits and gravy kind of dog, so I only had to pay $5 and some change for a satisfying breakfast. My only con about the place was the lady that we paid after the meal. She didn't seem like she even wanted to be there, or maybe she hates dogs, I don't know. Perhaps she's just having a bad week, because she didn't smile either of the days we ate there. Now that I think about it, I don't know of too many humans that smile at work all day long, so please disregard that quote unquote con about that employee. And since Reagan's has two locations in Pigeon Forge, note that this particular establishment is located right next to Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride. It's at 2806 Parkway. We highly recommend eating there. In case you missed the sign while Murphy was giving his review, we have just entered the Smoky Mountain National Park. We're sorry for the K in the word, park. It looks like it says Great Smoky Mountains National Parl. I don't believe there is such a place. Jack decided to photo bomb while Gorilla Hands took the picture. Again, it is Jack, no Jack. You eat on K9, and he said sorry for photo bomb. What did you say? He said he's sorry. Okay then, that's much better. Espèce de bouffon. The Gatlinburg Welcome Center. For the record, while we were making our way to Klingman's Dome, we almost got rear-ended by a gentleman who was just as surprised to see the brake checks as we were. If only Oizen had listened to the Gatlinburg hussy in his video, when he said to be careful because a lot of vacationers suddenly stop when they think they see a bear. He would have known not to be on this road so late in the morning. For your information lad, I was paying attention to the hussy's videos. Had it not been for my previous truck driving career, I likely would have rear-ended the vehicle in front of me. I think I handled the situation remarkably well. Unlike a certain French squirrel we might know. What? What did I do? That little puddle you left on the seat says it all. Here, let's take a look at the scene quick. Jack was looking out the back window, when suddenly, I do not sound like that. Well, maybe not, but I have sensitive ears, so it sounds that way to me. Your real scream is coming up in a moment here. Wait for it. And the next thing we knew. We arrived in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Ah, Gatlinburg. Home of the Gatlinburg Hussy. Husselhof. The Huss. Hussman. Arnold Hussinator, Dr. H. Will you stop it already? You'll be the second man ever to be kicked out of Gatlinburg. Really? Who was the first? Now, I could tell you, but that would take all of the video watching fun away from you. Okay, I'll watch it. Which video is it? Not so fast, Fuzzy. You don't just pick and choose which of his videos to watch, based on the topic. 
he shares a lot of very useful information with his viewers. If you miss one, then you've pretty much missed the majority of them. Do you know where to park, or how much it's going to cost? He tells you what you need to know, but only if you are interested in saving some money. Look, there's a chairlift. It looks like a zip line. And a keys to baby. Hurry, gorilla hands. Let's get parked. Relax, mate. You wouldn't have all of this extra energy if you had walked up to Klingman's Dome, on the path of torture like the rest of us. Hey, it's your own fault, Sausage Fingers. You wanted to play comedian by getting an overpriced baby carrier for me to ride in while we walk. So I figured, why not try it out on this steep lung-burning, heart attack-inducing hike? While you were gasping for breath, I was googling with your cell phone and my cute hairy paws. It says here that as you tackle the Klingman's Dome hike, keep these fascinating tidbits in mind. The trail's elevation gain is approximately 340 feet, with a slope of around 13%. Klingman's Dome sits at an impressive 6,643 feet above sea level, making it the highest point in Tennessee. So that's why you guys and everyone else kept sitting down and cursing the people who told you it was merely a half mile up and a half mile back to the parking lot, but forgot to mention that the half mile up was dang near like climbing Jacob's ladder to heaven. And to think that I was complaining about being carried. I really did enjoy the lift to the top and I got some beautiful photos while you were busy falling to your knees crying. I was not crying, I was trying to breathe. Well do me a favor pal. The next time you try to breathe while carrying me, please don't do it on my neck. In case you haven't noticed, it's about 800 degrees out and you breathing down the back of my neck isn't helping either of us. Let's just keep walking and get over to the donut shop where we're supposed to meet up with the huss. You stop calling him that. Just wait until I tell him the pet name you've given him.
we've been expecting you. Welcome to Gatlinburg. Mwah. Oh, hi, thank you. just about ready. Let me get my backpack on. There, which one of you guys called me the Hus? Boys and did. Oh yeah? I think it was both of you. Let's get dirty. with you guys welcome to Gatlinburg Murphy that's the first thing you need to learn always expect the unexpected no matter how prepared you think you may be your adversary is always on the prowl looking for a cheap shot so he can strike so that's why we're going to get you rock steady ready to be able to take down any hairy beast this side of the Pacific Ocean what is that awful smell and why are you standing in a big puddle all of the flood water dried up five days ago wow oh, you say in French they bought we oui, we oui. <laughs> oh snap! Touche, Jock! Touche! Thank you! Follow me. Okay, that's us. You, come here and watch closely. You see this here? This is that bear. Pretty big, isn't it? Whoa, it is! Look at that. As soon as you're fully trained, you can use one of these as a weapon, providing that you don't pee on yourself again. I didn't pee on myself. I peed on gorilla hands. Stay alert, Murphy.
Murphy, come take a look at these. They can be used as nunchucks. What are they? Fried squirrels. Ah! <laughs>